Hey y'all, it's Leslie and I'm back with another haul. Um, this one's going to be mostly paper. Um, this is kind of the part two, but I picked up these at Michael's, little wooden jar ornaments. I think I have an idea to use these for. Um, sometimes I buy things because I have seen somebody else use it in, in a way that I would like to use it, or I see an item and I get really inspired. And those, these wooden jars remind me of a lady who is doing some wood burning. And I did wood burning last year. Um, I made some coasters for my daughter and put M plus B on them. Um, and uh, using the wood burning tool. And so uh, I thought that I might do something like that on these. So that's a possibility. Um, they were uh, at Michael's, and they were in the um, 70 or 80% off section. So, it, they were $2 a piece, but they were 70 or 80% off. So, I, I wasn't too bothered by it if I don't end up doing that project. I picked up some flowers at Hobby Lobby because they were 50% off, and I needed a few more of certain colors. So, I got some pink. I always get white whenever they're on sale. So there's white of these little ones and and I like the mainly why I get these is because it's mixed sizes there's some of that mid size as well and then here's some in the white the white ones I can always dye any color that I want to using sprays um, that you can make with your reinkers or um, you know that you could buy already made uh, I, at Michael's uh, Let's see. Let me finish Michael's first. I think it's going to be the quickest. Okay, at Michael's, I got the full cart um, stencil. These were also, everything in store, everything I purchased was 30% off, and then everything was like another 30% off. I don't even know. It, But it was, if I didn't, if I got it, it was already 50% off at least. And then everything that I had on my coupon was 30% more off. Of everything except things that were like everyday value program which I don't think I got to get into that but so anyway here's the stencil this is the stars folk art this is the deco art Americana and when I put these away I will make the folders on film and that way you can see how I store stencils Genevieve Designs uses uses this Rhodia dot pad and I came across this at Michael's it's the first time I'd seen it um, she gets it from Hobby Lobby, and if I remember correctly, this was ten dollars. And on Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, <laughs> she gets it from Amazon. On Amazon, it's like twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, and you know, it is shipped to your door, and you don't buy all this other stuff. But when I saw this, I thought, you know what? It's fifty percent off plus another thirty percent off. I'm gonna get a pad. But there was only one of the ones with the dot pad. Um, but this is going to go into a project that I'm doing very soon. Uh, it's a design team. I'm actually going to be on a design team, so I'll let you know that. Um, then we have uh, uh, the mixed media. This is 11 by 14 mixed media from Canson. Canson was all 50% off as well, plus another 30. And then I got the watercolor. I didn't exactly need these, but I, I next year I'm going to do at least one mixed media project per month i you know i love doing it so much and i just um haven't managed to get that done and um so it, you'll be seeing a lot of that on my channel as well because i'll be filming what i do more i think i like my new camera set up I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so i'm not bothered about doing videos as much anymore um, then I got, this is the, uh, Michael's, um, uh, paper pad, hot by paper pad, that's what they were. They were on sale, da, 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 $5 off. I couldn't get another 30% off of these because it was a hot buy and hot buys, you can't do that. You know, there's rules for everything. Just like their Lexington carts, you know, they were $30. There was no Coupons could be applied to them. That's it. 30 bucks. Walmart has them, by the way. I got one at Walmart. I'll show you when I get it loaded up. Maybe in a 
craft room tour if I ever do anything. Um, so this paper pad is called Rose Cottage and it is just stunning. Ooh, nope, you're not seeing that. Let me do it again. It is ah, stunning. Look at this. And there is a little um, gold foiling, which is not my thing, but you know, in, in little amounts here and there, I can tolerate it. Prima sometimes overdoes it, but this seems to be just a little bit of it. Speaking of Prima, when I was at Hobby Lobby, they had all their paper, paper pads for 50% off. Excuse me, let me tell you the back. Everything Paper Studio was 50% off. So this was Prima and I used my coupon for it. So I 40% off of this 13. But the reason I got this is because it's The Love Story by Frank Garcia. This is the one that they released last spring um, that was just absolutely stunning. And they've always had Tales of You and Me and um, The Lavender. They've had it for a while. This is one that I, I was kind of eyeing. But when I buy them from Prima, or not from Prima, but like scrapbook.com or, you know, whoever, Amazon, um, and it's coming originally, they're going to be foiled. And I'm not a big foiled person. I'm not big on that, you know, shininess kind of thing. Like I said, just a little peek here and there, maybe. Um, but this was, this was not um, really, I, I didn't really care for it because it had a lot of foil. But when you get them from Hobby Lobby, just like the lavender, when you get it from Hobby Lobby, it doesn't have gold foil on it. So it makes it, I mean, just that much more gorgeous to me. More vintage. You know me. Vintage, rustic, old. Love it. Love it. If y'all want a slower flip through sometime, just let me know. And then, of course, <clears throat> I'm over there and they got paper. So I pick up a few more pieces that um, match a theme that I'm doing for projects. Um, I don't remember seeing these the last time I went, so I got these. This is a, a bluish color, so I wanted to get those. This is um, ones that I've already gotten. But I love them so much, I said, you know what? I better get some more of those. I don't remember this one either. Um, it um, has a, it doesn't have glitter. That's um, from where something touched it. Um, but it has a um, bluish green tint to the flowers. It's very, very faint. It, it, honestly, it's cream flowers on a peach color background, but there is a little bit of a bluish green tint to them that's just so vintage and and it just gives that you know that feeling already before it's even tea dyed or you know distressed in any kind of way again i have plans um specific journals that i'm making um after the first of the year and this is going to work good with one of those i picked up i've been wanting this for a while i picked up the full country road um, paper stack. Now I've used several of these papers when I buy them um, individually. Uh, yeah, I guess you can see that. When I buy them individually, then um, I picked several of them up before. But I did um, go ahead and pick up the whole thing. You know, and probably shouldn't have, but you know what? I liked it. And um, so that was 80 sheets. And here's what I did. I, I went through and I was like, okay, I like one. Can you see me? Yeah. I like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and maybe 16. So 15 of them for sure I like. There's four each. 15 times four, that's $15 because the individual papers are four for a dollar. So I was like, well, hey, guess what? It, it's at least saving me that money. So I went ahead and did that. Then absolutely love everything about this paper pad. Every page, everything, it just, it's, 
this is kind of my my home. It's it's wood and it's rustic and it's old and vintage and and these kind of things. This is just what my home feels like to me. And um, so I picked these up. There, these are actually I wanted to point this out. It's sixty sheets, but this is textured. Sixty sheets, twenty dollars versus this. Of course, this is paper. And this is cardstock, but this isn't the standard uh, Hobby Lobby cardstock. This is textured. Let's see if I can get you in the light. Can you see that? Oh, I don't know. yeah, yeah, you can see that texture. And it comes through on the other side as well. But I just, I don't know. I'm just so in love with this paper. This one right here reminds me of my grandmother's wallpaper in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Just love it. Her, her kitchen had um, that wallpaper um, later, but originally it had um, hen and biddies. There would be a hen over here and then a, a nest that had the little eggs and biddies hatching out of it. Oh, I wanted a piece of it. I begged, begged my dad when he, they pulled it off to save me a piece, but they couldn't. So he said, that's fine, that's fine. So, oh, I just love all that, love all that. So I went over there and I went ahead and got the small <laughs> version of it. And I also got the small in the country road because I used both of those. They're perfect size to tuck in a um, pocket. I also got this. It's called Mirabelle. And these are closed a little bit more, but you can see the, the papers that would be in here. Just look in there. So I thought these were really vintage. They have a vintage feel. I love that green color, that sagey. It's not even sage. It's like an, a pale army green. Um, I, I feel like the 40s were an army green color, you know, out of support. And um, so, you know, that's what I get that feeling here. I got this one. It's called Denim and Pearls. And these are the papers that's included with it, four, four of each. I almost got the large one of this, and, you know, I'm sitting here looking at it now going, oh, why didn't you? Because there's only, you know, uh, one, two, three that aren't my faves, and, but still I can use those in small doses and be happy with it. I need to go back and get this. So I'm going to set this one to the side to remind me. <laughs> yes, she said she's going back to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> okay, I promise I'm creating in the meantime too. Well, when I'm not sick. This is petals, um, obviously flowers, and it's all different colors. I just love the the colors, the brightness of these. Great to put into a journal like this you know you could put this one with the yellow in there and it just gives a pop of color all of a sudden or or this one you know would work too because it has a little bit of the um pinks and oranges in there and it just gives a pop of color i just love doing that okay what's oh my goodness can you believe it that's it that's the end of the haul so i hope you enjoyed this haul and if you did please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you um, subscribe if you aren't a subscriber and welcome to all my new subscribers I really appreciate you very much uh, you all you all are really great so I think I'm gonna do a giveaway around the first of the year I'm close to hitting 1300 subscribers so I'd like to get I'd like to get um, 1500 subscribers before I do a giveaway so um, make sure that you share this video with your friends and that way they can go and go shopping and get all this stuff too so thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you soon